a crazy thing to think about with respect to Bitcoin, depending on which estimate you look at, is it's expected that Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining will require to use as much energy in 2020 as we use today in the whole world for everything. About 38% of the electricity need to run the operation is just to cool the electronics. That's the thing we want to address. That's the system inefficiency in this case. But we're then coming to a crossroads where we're going to need something new, you know, something different to, to help maintain and reduce that energy footprint. Back in 2012, uh, we set up our company in Hong Kong uh, purely for the purpose of uh, Bitcoin mining. We quickly realized that in the subtropical climate in Hong Kong, it would be very difficult to run um, air conditioning very efficiently. Something unique happened in 2012. Two young entrepreneurs approached us, had seen some videos on immersion, and were intrigued by the possibilities of using it in, a, in Bitcoin mining. When we took a deeper look into 3M fluids with immersion cooling, we were quite uh, fascinated actually by the possibilities. So immersion cooling actually submerges the IT equipment in a liquid so that the liquid is coming in contact with the electronic equipment and go, whoa, wouldn't there be sparks would be flying? Well, the liquid that we're using is a non-conductive fluid, and therefore that can touch the IT equipment and cool it directly. Instead of spreading out the electronics so that you can air cool it, you just pack them together because it's going to be cooled through this, this fluid. And this allows us to shrink down the entire data center size to only a fraction of what um, would be if you would uh, run a data center with uh, traditional air cooling. That paired with the much uh, more efficient cooling methodology of immersion cooling really convinced us that this was uh, the right path to go. So you have best-in-class power density coupled with best-in-class energy efficiency and dramatically simplified design. The cooling technology is particularly important to Bitcoin mining because of the fact of how much energy it requires to do that computationally. The amount of energy that Bitcoin mining uses today, every day, is about the same amount as some medium-sized countries use in a day. That energy will only increase. Personally, of course, uh, it's very interesting making um, a potentially a big impact on um, uh, the carbon footprint of data centers um, uh, in the world. Not only something for, for our generation, but hopefully also for the next generation. What we want to help enable with innovative products like the engineered fluids is the ability to do things differently that leads to a better future for as many as possible.